The software of the Digma keyboards is in constant evolution. In the last few months, for example, we have completely redesigned the interface and added new features like super keys, auto backups, the ability to record macros, and many, many more. But to enjoy them, you must download the latest version of Basecore and update the firmware. So let's do just that. Hello, Digmates, it's Dominique. And before I explain how to install Basecore and update the firmware of your keyboard, let's answer a common question we normally get. What is the difference between firmware and software? Simply put, the firmware lives in the keyboard and the software lives in your computer. And you all live in my heart. The firmware is responsible for translating your key presses into something the computer understands. And the software is the interface you use on your computer to make changes to the configuration of your keyboard. Some of the new features like the new user interface only affect the software, but most of them like the super keys need a new firmware to work. That's why it's important not only to download the latest base core version, but also to keep your firmware updated. If you don't do it, some features won't work. It's like the keyboard and the software speak different languages. Kung magistorya po sinyo inilonggo, may chindihan yoko. So now that you know Filipino, I mean, so now that you know that, let's get down to business. To get the latest base core version, visit digma.com slash software. Our software is available for Linux, Mac, and yeah, Windows too. Now that you have the latest version, let's update the firmware. Okay, open Basecore, connect your keyboard, and go to the Update Firmware section on the left menu. If the firmware is not up to date, this message will appear. Simply click Update Now and follow the instructions. You'll basically need to hold the Escape key for a few seconds and release it when told to. Wait a bit for the process to finish, and you're good to enjoy the new features. We've improved this process greatly in the last few versions, so it should run smoothly. But to be extra safe, Basecore will do an automatic backup of your keyboard before the firmware update. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore it from the preferences menu. And if you encounter any other problem, call our CEO, Luis, at 555-5555. Nah, don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out this troubleshooting video we've prepared. As you can see, it's very easy to keep your keyboard up to date. We'll continue working on the keyboard's features, so you'll need to do this from time to time. And if you have any feedback on this or things that you'd want us to implement, we'll love to hear them in the comments below. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. What do you call an ugly cow? Ikaw. Nobody gets it. Because ikaw in Filipino is you.